हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग स्ट्रीम लाइन इन वन ऑफ माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस ऑन सॉलिड एंगल आई हैड शोन दैट द थीटा एंगल फॉर सरफेस रेडिएशन एमिशन वेरीज फ्रॉम जीरो टू पाई बाय टू एंड फाइ एंगल वेरीज फ्रॉम जीरो टू टू पाई विच रिजल्ट्स इन सॉलिड एंगल इक्वल टू टू पाई एंड फॉर वॉल्यूम रेडिएशन एमिशन थीटा वेरीज फ्रॉम जीरो टू पाई एंड फाइव वेरीज फ्रॉम जीरो टू टू पाई which results in solid angle equal to 4 pi today i will discuss why the limits of theta and phi angle for surface and volume emission are taken as shown here let's consider a cubical enclosure or box with a small surface on the bottom boundary emitting radiation the radiation emitted from this surface can reach the front boundary left boundary back boundary right boundary and top boundary but this surface cannot emit radiation below the bottom boundary now let's consider a surface da on the right boundary and a point p on that surface receiving radiation from the radiation source point o on the bottom boundary the line op forms an angle theta with the z axis known as the zenith angle If we project the point P on the xy plane and join point O with the projection line at point Q then the line OQ forms an angle phi with the x axis known as azimuthal angle Now let's understand how theta varies from 0 to pi by 2 If we move the line joining points O and P towards the z axis the theta angle decreases to 0 degree It is important to remember that the theta angle is always measured from the z axis. Again if we move away from the z axis, theta increases and reaches 90 degree at the y axis. At theta equal to 90 degree, bottom boundary is reached. And as shown earlier, no emission can take place below this boundary. In case of emission from a surface on the top boundary, theta angle is measured from the negative z axis. As we move away from the z axis theta increases and reaches 90 degree at the y axis at theta equal to 90 degree the top boundary is reached and no emission take, can take place above this boundary thus theta varies only between 0 and pi by 2 for surface emission case now let's say angle phi is at some value 45 degree since phi angle forms on the xy axis it can form complete 360 degree or 2 pi as emission can take place in all directions so phi varies between 0 and 2 pi for surface emission case so if we draw a 90 degree angle and rotate it along the phi angle 2 pi we get a hemisphere and solid angle for surface emission also comes out to be 2 pi which is the area of a hemisphere Let's move to volume emission case. Here the source emitting the radiation at the center of a cubical enclosure instead of any boundary. The radiation emitted from this source can reach the front boundary, left boundary, back boundary, right boundary, top boundary and bottom boundary. Meaning radiation can be emitted in all directions. Now let's understand how theta varies from 0 to pi. As we move towards the z axis, theta angle decreases towards 0 degree. Again, if we move away from the z axis, theta increases and reaches 90 degrees at the y axis. As shown earlier in volume emission case, emission can take place below the source. So theta can further increase to 180 degrees till the negative z axis. so theta varies only between 0 and pi for volume emission case similar to the surface emission case phi can form complete 360 degree or 2 pi as emission can take place in all directions along xy plane so if we draw 180 degree angle and rotate it along the phi angle 2 pi we get a complete sphere and solid angle for surface emission also comes out to be 4 pi which is the area of a sphere I hope you like this explanation. Kindly like and subscribe and keep looking for more videos.